So growing up, I was definitely an avid and voracious reader. One of my favorite things to do with my time. When I was very, very young, around the age of four or five, my favorite book, I had asked my parents about this, it was Pocahontas. Not this specific one, but this is the only one I had on hand. I like the little golden book version, which is much smaller, you know. But my mom told me this was my favorite because I would love to dress up with it. I had, and I've seen pictures of this, I had um, like a string bead necklace that I made and also like a headband that I'd wear. And it would be my favorite thing to do to sit down for story time and not only like live in the world of the book, but also, you know, I had the movie to fall back on to and just as like a very young child having that visualization and the character characterization you see in the film helped bring the book to life. And beyond that, one of my first forays into chapter books was started very early was Katie Kazoo Switcheroo. I was in about the end of first grade, beginning of second grade when I started reading these. As you can see, there's like pictures in it. The text is very big. Um, the vocabulary, you know, it's simple for like beginning readers. Um, and my parents got this for me. I think as a birthday gift because Katie, Katie Kazoo, Katie, yeah, that's why. But um, just having this book series really like forwarded me into my love of reading. And then around the same time, Rover Saves Christmas was one of my favorite books. It definitely introduced me to a lot of humor in writing, a lot of breaking of the fourth wall and just like, it's very postmodern, especially for a children's book. And even now, when I do my own writing, this is something I fall back on. It's like, can I be more like Roddy Doyle in my writing? And just like the Katie Kazoo books, which are by Nancy Krulik, by the way, these have pictures, uh, large text, very simple to understand, and I think this was my favorite book in around third grade and the second grade, beginning of third grade. Um, and then by fourth grade, I had transitioned to the Animal Arc series, definitely my favorite, by Ben M. Baglio. So good. I had probably like 30 to 40 of the books in the series. And that was my favorite thing to do, to go to the school library and we went there once a week and all my peers would be checking out like the I Spy books and doing like maze books. And then here I was with as many chapter books as I could get. And in addition to the school library, my school also offered a book fair each year and uh, like a scholastic um, books that like a catalog that would come home each month. And my parents were so generous and allowed me to, within reason, pretty much get however many books I wanted. And that really just furthered my love of reading. Growing up, one of the most frequent trips my family would make is to go to the library, which is two blocks from my house. So it was super convenient to go there. We went there probably almost every other day. And my favorite thing to get from there was the Nancy Drew books um, when I was probably around fifth grade. But yeah, just being around so many books growing up that really shaped who I was and allowed me to grow into a writer, a poet, a I like to call myself like a philosopher of life, someone who thinks deeply on human nature and the meaning of life and just what it means to like grow and love and 
go through different experiences on this earth. Reading really, really shaped me as a person, and I'm so thankful and glad and blessed to have been raised in an environment that really cherished the written word, cherished allowing me to grow and blossom as an individual in the direction that I chose to go and felt led to go in. And just being in a little world that wanted me to grow and learn and love. 